In the following question, the first part of the question states that we need to define the wavelength of a progressive wave. What does, uh, what does the term wavelength mean? What's the definition of the term wavelength? So a wavelength is the minimum distance. So it's the minimum distance between two wave fronts. So it could be the minimum different distance between two crests or two troughs. So here I've uh, shown an example of a wave. This is my wave. So it's the minimum difference between two wave fronts. So this, uh, it could be the distance between two crests or it could be a distance between two troughs. So that is uh, lambda. It's known, uh, the symbol is lambda and this is what wavelength is. In the next part, part two of the question, uh, state what is meant by the by an antinode of a stationary wave. So we need to define what an antinode is. So the first thing is, what is a stationary wave? A uh, stationary wave is when a wave uh, reflects uh, is reflected by a partition. So there is a wave uh, that is traveling. This wave, uh, the dark blue line, it's traveling and it gets reflected back. So the wave uh, and the, and its reflected wave, they start interfering with each other. This would be your node. This point over here would be your node. Uh, the position where the wave is going to have minimum amplitude or no amplitude at all. And this point over here is going to be your anti-node. This is the point where the wave would uh, oscillate. This is another anti-node. So the wave uh, particles would be oscillating and would have maximum oscillation. So it's the point where there is maximum amplitude. So that is what is meant by an antinode of a stationary wave. The next part of the question reads uh, that a loudspeaker producing sound of constant frequency is placed near the open end of a pipe as shown in figure 4.1. So this is uh, your loudspeaker over here. There's a piston that's a, that's movable and I think uh, the piston is moving at a speed of 0.75 centimeters per second in this direction. And uh, the distance is X, uh, the loudspeaker and the piston, the distance between them is X. So what is the question asking us to do? Uh, the question, a mobile piston is at a distance x from open end of the pipe. Distance x is increased from x is equal to 0 by moving the piston to the left with a constant speed of 0.75 centimeters per second. The speed of the sound in the pipe is 340 meters per second. A much louder sound is first heard when x is equal to 4.5 centimeters. So when x equals 4.5 centimeters, uh, a loud sound is heard, which basically means you're hearing an anti-node. Because a stationary wave is going to be produced. So this is how the sound wave would look like. Uh, a node would be produced at this particular point. This would be your node that would be produced at the piston. The uh, wave is going to come in and it's going to get reflected. This would be the point where the amplitude of the wave would be maximum. The particles would be vibrating uh, very loudly. And this is the point uh, where a node would be formed where, where the wave and its reflected wave, uh, they're going to superimpose and they, they are going to get cancelled out. So you, the particles are not going to be vibrating at the node. So the anti-node, a loud sound would only be produced if an anti-node is present at the loudspeaker. Now, the question goes on to state that we need to determine the frequency of the sound in the pipe. Uh, the frequency of the sound, is. you must have noticed that uh, if I extrapolate this wave, uh, this is the first crest. So if I continue this wave, it's going to, this would be your trough. So this point over here, this distance x is equal to 4.5. If you look at this distance over here, this distance is lambda by 4. The entire, this is lambda by 4. X is equal to, it's equal to lambda divided by 4. So it's quarter of the wavelength. You can see that uh, the, wave, the wave starts over here and ends over here. So this is your complete wavelength. 
we are talk talking about only this section uh, for an antinode to form the wave uh, this would be the crest and this would be the this would be the node of uh, of that particular wave the, that particular stationary wave so lambda the entire wavelength divided by 4 that is uh, this point is lambda by 4 and we know that it is equal to 4.5 centimeters so what we are going to do is we're going to apply the formula v is equal to i'm going to apply the formula v is equal to lambda f now the question is about uh, determining the frequency we already know uh, we already know the speed of the sound velocity of the sound is 340 meters per second lambda on the other hand is coming out to be equal to uh, lambda by 4 is coming out to be equal to 4.5 centimeters so if i get rid of 4 from here i multiply 4 over there the wavelength is 4.5 multiplied by 4 which is 18 centimeters and that 18 centimeters uh, should be converted into meters so i'm going to divide that by 100 into frequency and the answer that i'm going to get for this is uh, if i solve this if i solve this the answer that I'm going to get is going to be 1900. It's going to be 1900 hertz. Uh, so if I solve for F, make F the subject of the equation, F would be 340 divided by, so it's going to be 340 divided by 0.18. And the answer is going to be 1900 hertz. So we've solved the first part. Uh, the question then goes on to state that after a time interval, a second much louder sound is heard. Calculate the time interval between the first louder sound and the second louder so sound being heard. So, so we, we're now looking for the second louder sound. Remember, the piston is, is moving backwards. This piston is moving backwards. So as you move the piston backwards, the sound would travel a much larger distance. So if an antinode, a louder sound is produced at this point, the wave, let's complete another, uh, the wave is going to bounce back at this point. And this would be the point where, and this is how the second louder sound is going to be produced. So the piston must be at this point. It must be at this point. So, so that the wave travels one more cycle gets reflected, makes a node at that particular uh, point where the piston is. So the piston has moved to this point and gets reflected back, makes a node again and then goes on to form an anti-node. So when the piston slowly moves backwards, this is the point where the second louder sound is going to be produced. A, st a stationary wave would be set up again and the loudspeaker would, uh, you'll experience a louder sound at the loudspeaker. So to produce a second louder sound, this is the extra distance the wave must must continue or must travel. And uh, we know that this distance, so the first loud sound was produced when the piston had traveled a distance of 4.5. Uh, remember, lambda, uh, lambda by 4 or quarter of the wavelength we have already calculated, that's 4.5 centimeters. Uh, so the other loud sound would be produced when the piston would have moved this distance. And if you calculate this wave, it's uh, two lambda by fours. This is quarter wavelength. This is another quarter wavelength. This is another quarter wavelength. This would be equal to nine centimeters. This part would be equal to nine centimeters. This distance over here from the first position of the piston to the second position of the piston. This distance would be uh, nine centimeters. It's, basic, it's basically lambda by four plus lambda by four. So uh, what I'm going to calculate now is I'm going to figure out uh, uh, when would the sound be produced when the piston had moved 4.5 uh, centimeters and at what time interval would the sound be produced when the piston had moved 9 centimeters. Now moving back to my question, I just need to uh, calculate the time uh, it's going to take uh, for the second loud sound to be produced. Uh, 9 centimeter would be the distance. And this uh, piston over here is traveling at its, uh, if you look at the speed of the piston, it's moving at 0.75 meters, uh, centimeters per second. So let's uh, just try and confirm whether it's moving at 0.75 meters. Uh, yes, it's uh, given over here, it's traveling at 0.75 centimeters per second. 
So we need to just uh, use the formula of uh, uh, distance uh, of speed. Speed was equal to distance divided by time. And I need to calculate the time because this is the point where the first loud sound was produced. This is the point where the second loud sound would be produced. We already know the speed, it's 0.75. Uh, but centimeters per second, so I'm going to take distance in centimeters as well. That's uh, it's going to be nine centimeters divided by time, and we just need to calculate, make time the subject of the equation. And if we do our calculations correctly, the answer is going to come out to be equal to 12 seconds.